Good morning. Finally getting around for a second cup of coffee here. Let me grab my syrup. I've got a nice new bottle of Jordan's Caramel Skinny Syrup. And I've got, oh, three and a half ounces of almond milk in my milk frother. I'm going to go ahead and froth this up. And I'm going to make some coffee this morning on my Virtuo machine, which is my bigger machine. But I'm going to make a double espresso. This is double espresso scuro. And just a reminder, on the Virtuo, the capsules have barcodes around the edge. And that tells the machine how much water and, you know, what to do to properly make the type and amount of coffee that's in the capsule because there are several different sizes of capsules. You know, on my Pixie machine, the little machine, the one that uses, let's see, the one that uses these little capsules, it just makes two different sizes. Although I can keep pressing the button to put in more water, more hot water if I want to. Um, so on the Virtuo, it's pre-programmed for certain sizes and it knows what to make because of the barcode. I'm just waiting for this caramel almond milk to heat up so I can put it in my double walled glass mug. Reminder better to use a plastic spoon so you don't crack the inside glass on the mug. Oh, it's ready. Let me go get it. Okay, so double espresso scuro on my Virtuo is my favorite. I really like it. It's like my go-to dependable, yummy coffee. And since it's a double espresso, it will make 2.7 ounces of coffee. So I don't have to worry about things overflowing here. Actually, I had, oh my, is it plugged in? Nope, okay. Let me plug it in. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm always running into these problems with not enough sockets here. Okay, I know you're there. Oh, wait. Okay, it's plugged in now. There we go. Okay, apartment living. So here we go. So, yeah, the double espresso scuro is, when I say it's my go-to dependable um, coffee on my Virtuo, I love the flavor of it. It always tastes good. It's never too weak or too strong. It just seems good any day. Now, I like the Avalido and Altissio, which are very intense, um, but sometimes they're a little more intense than what I want. You know, let's see, the double espresso scuro, let me find the intensity of this. It's an intensity of eight and it's supposed to have notes of smokiness and cocoa. That sounds good, right? Okay. Ooh. Now, sometimes I have um, pressed the button again and run it through again, but I've got plenty of milk in here. Oh, I'm looking forward to this because I think, you know, smoky and cocoa, I think that goes with caramel. I haven't had any of this in a while. And today I've just been kind of craving some milky sort of coffees. Oh, you know, a lot of milk in them. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. So, you know, I'm just going to put a touch more of the caramel in it because it could stand to be just a little sweeter, a little more caramel flavor. I've learned that I've got to be really careful when I'm adding that syrup because sometimes I can end up with something that tastes more like a, you know, a hot cup of syrup instead of coffee. Mmm. You know what? Honestly, I haven't had this in so long. I'm sort of not used to the flavor now. I just... I just used up <clears throat> all of my almond milk, but I've got some oat milk here. And what I think what I would like to do is to make this more milky because even though, hang on, even though I really like an intense coffee, I'm so accustomed to the espresso from my original line Pixie Machine that, I don't know, the flavor of this, the intensity of it, the way it's hitting my tongue, it's not like it used to when it was my favorite go-to. Oh my gosh, it's almost like I've, you know, how I say if you keep drinking something, you know, you'll get used to it. You'll develop a taste for it in a lot of cases. It's almost like, oh no, I've lost the hang of this tasting good to me. Let me try it this way. Oh, now I like this better. I definitely like it better. Now, you can put these double walled glass mugs into the microwave. Um, they're made of borosilicate glass. All right. Just going to give it, hmm, 15 seconds. And I'll see how it is just a little hotter. You know, um, I know people who are always having to rewarm their coffee. Oh, my coffee's not hot enough. Oh, my coffee's cooled off. And I used to think... Gee, you know, they're kind of picky. Um, but in a lot of ways, uh, well, for one thing, they sipped at their coffee more than I do. I tend to drink it faster. But also, I think they were a bit more discerning about the flavors of their coffees. And um, really, the temperature of the coffee makes a difference to how it tastes. It does. In some coffees, it's a subtle difference. In others, it's a big difference. Let me try this. And you know, part of it is, and this will probably make sense to you, the flavor of milk is affected by the temperature it's at. So you can imagine that if you know, my coffee with milk, if the milk is affected, it kind of follows that the other stuff in the coffee, the syrup, would all be affected by the temperature. Well, they are. Take my word for it. Now, how much you notice it, you know, how much I notice it, those can definitely vary because we all have different kinds of tastes, right? But I'm going to go ahead and... Mm, Give this another 15 seconds in the microwave and then sit down and enjoy my Nespresso, double espresso scuro with Jordan's skinny caramel syrup and a mixture of almond milk and oat milk. I hope you have a wonderful day.